Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and today we continue to speak about general product settings. In the first part we reviewed information, options settings and pricing and inventory. Today we are going to speak about availability and extra settings. First availability for the user groups. By default the product is available for all groups but you can uh, make this product available only for guests or only for the registered users or if you have any other user groups you can make them available only for them for example for the wholesale users or maybe some VIPs it's up to you and uh, it depends on the type of a product all right next creation date it is not just a good tool for keeping your store organized, uh, but also it influences some sortings. Let me show you. Uh, for example, for now our travel hoodie here, take a look, is uh, the newest item. But uh, when I change uh, the creation date, it will become the last one or maybe something in between. Okay, let me show you. Uh, for example, it was created. Yeah. Yes. Except, no. Okay. And yeah, just like this. Uh, save. And now back to the storefront. I'm gonna refresh the page. Yeah, and now our hoodie became uh, the last product. And uh, this t shirt became the newest one. Because uh, the sorting is newest items first. Bear it in mind. Now, uh, let's continue. Available scenes. Best works with out of stock actions. Buy in advance. Let me show you. Available scenes, uh, for example, just like this. Okay, done. Buy in advance. Save. And now back to products page. Okay, hoodies page. Refresh it. And here we go. Well, we have it in stock. Uh, we can add the product to cart, but the notification says this product will be shipped on um, May 24, 2016. So uh, pay attention to such notifications. Uh, now let me show you the difference between buy in advance and sign up for a notification. Okay, let's go back. Well. Uh, Available since I'm, I'm going to delete this date. Okay, out of stock actions. Sign up for notification. Now I need to decrease the amount to zero. So I don't have any hoodies. I sold them. Okay, back to the products page. And now pay attention here. There you go. Availability out of stock, but if you a registered customer or if you just guessed, you click this box, notify me when this product is back in stock. After that, you enter your email address. Uh, and if you are a registered customer, you don't have to enter your email. The notification will be, say, will be sent automatically. No problem. Okay, and now I'll just enter more my email just like this um, okay done you have been subscribed to a product in stock notifications uh, by the way you can also track the number of people that are subscribed to the product to the certain products okay don't forget about that it is useful for the administrators now that's all about availability let's move on to the extra and the first here is the product details view parent default template uh, we have already seen this type of a template uh, it's just uh, a small picture uh, to the left and another stuff and the big picture places your product's image in the center of a page okay let me show you now, back. yeah, this is the default template, the parent one, and now the big picture. 
This is the big picture. The big picture works best with the shoes, clothes and some other products that require a detailed review. That's it about the big picture. Let's move on. The short description. The short description is used instead of the long description on the category page. Let me show you. Now I'm going to enter the new description and this description, full description, uh, will be replaced with this one. Okay, save. Uh, let's go to the category page. Here we go. Uh, as you can see, this is the full description now. And after refreshing, the new short description. The main purpose of the short descriptions is to draw attention of the customers to the products. So I recommend you to pay attention to what you write in the short descriptions because it can really raise your sales. The popularity. The popularity of a product, the number of views, the number of purchases, the number of adding to cart, everything related to the customer's actions. You can also raise the popularity in order to change some uh, something in the sortings. For example, you, you can make this product popular. So you can raise its uh, popularity artificially. Use this instrument to raise your sales. Search words. Search words influence the customer's search on the storefront. For example, I will enter some new words here that uh, are not included in the description and in the name of a product. Clothes, gift. Now let me show you how it works. Save, uh, back to the storefront, homepage. Now I want to find uh, some gifts for my relatives, I don't know, for my friends, and I enter gift. And here we go. We have different products here. And yes, our hoodie, because we entered the search word gift. Also, we can enter clothes. And we also find hoodie here. Well, uh, I recommend you to use search words to raise the popularity of some products and also raise your sales. Okay, uh, yes, I told you it um, three times, but all these measures can be really helpful. So don't forget about them. And the last one setting for today is the promo text. The promo text is the text located at the right side of the products page let me enter something and I will show you. Okay, just... Oh, no, now. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, today. Buy this today. The call to buy. Save. And now let's go to products page. Here is the promo text. It can uh, give some information about some events, some gifts, maybe some discounts. Uh, as you can see here we have a text about free shippings. So you can use it uh, to your advance. Now let's refresh the page and here what I wrote. Buy this today. Uh, this is also a useful tool. And just like I told you previously, that's it about general settings. That was a short review of the general product settings. In the next videos, we will continue to speak about other product settings. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, and see you in the next CSCART video tutorials.